Hi everyone, my name is Joanna and you are watching Dolphins Today coming to you from the Baptist Health Studios in Miami Gardens. Alright guys, we are less than 48 hours away from kickoff against the Las Vegas Raiders, so we're going to get right into it today. Travis, what can we expect to see? A bounce back opportunity here going on the road to Las Vegas for the Miami Dolphins to get back to the things that they normally do well. They just were undolphin like in that game. Penalties, drop passes, you know, winning the hidden yardage battle on special teams and just getting back to the fundamentals and basics that have made this team so successful over the last couple of years under Brian Flores. And what would you say are some of the matchups to look forward to? I always like to start the Dolphins secondary when it comes to their matchups they look at. And with this Raiders offense, it makes it easy because their receivers and tight ends are also very good. Darren Waller leads the NFL with 26 pass targets this year. So finding a way to contain him as best you can will be a key. But also Henry Ruggs brings an element of speed to that offense that can take the top off of the defense. So Ruggs and Waller, two key matchups to watch this weekend. So although we lost the game, what are some good things you would say did happen? versus the Bills. Yeah, tough to find some positives in a 35 nothing game, right? But that's what we do here on Dolphins today. And I think that the Dolphins defense had some moments to give the offense an opportunity to get back into the game. It didn't happen. And you say 35 points, how is it a good defensive showing? Not that it was good, but there were things to take away from the game. As far as, I think it was six consecutive drives in that first half of holding the Bills offense off the scoreboard. And then also Josh Allen had a big year last year, only three games under 200 yards passing, Miami held him under 200 yards. So the defense had some moments of promise in that game. How do we turn the page and then go for a win? Yeah, a good chance to get the sour taste out of our mouth from last weekend, right? And on the road to Las Vegas. And I think you want to get the running backs involved in this game because both Miles Gaskin and Savon Ahmed have made some plays when they got the football, Malcolm Brown as well. But the Raiders have two edge rushers that really come after you in Max Crosby and Yannick Ngakwe. And to run the football at those guys, but also throw the ball to the running backs could help neutralize them in the pass rush game. So I would just say get the running backs involved both through the air and on the ground. Well, thank you so much, Travis. So much to look forward to. Now let's take a dive. Anthony Harris is the newest guest on the Fish Tank Podcast. Check out this exclusive sneak peek. If I recall, you could challenge damn near anybody to a race. Yes, sir. And I think it was the race itself, which we need to hear about, mm -hmm. but also the wager. This here was car for car. Car, car for car. For car. <laughs> uh, and the jitters was on a thousand. Oh, I mean, it was on a thousand. I can't speak for T-Buck, but the jitters was on a thousand. I mean, it's a lot riding on this oh, outside yeah. of just the race. Yeah, and the 50-something right. guys that are oh, falling at the mouth for this thing. Could have sold tickets to this race. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That day, it could have been. You can listen to a new episode of the Fish Tank Podcast every Tuesday on your favorite streaming service and on WFOR every Saturday night at 7.30. All right, well, we're in the swing of Hispanic Heritage Month, and I'm curious if you ever wonder why Hispanic Heritage Month is September 15th to October 15th. Well, that's because it coincides with the National Independence Days for many Latin American countries, including Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Mexico's National Independence Day also follows on the 16th, while Chile occurs on the 18th, and Belize is on the 21st. All good to know. Well, that's all we have for this episode. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. And in the meantime, I'll be cheering on the Dolphins, and I hope you will too. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.